Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on while you're, while you're down there, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Today we are doing a Psych Ward Q&A. If you want to take part in future Q&As follow me on Instagram, I'll link it over here and on the icon. So yeah. Let's get into this. How did you handle staff abuse to patients, which we all know happens? So, I've made five videos talking about the abuse that in psych wards, and to be honest, how I dealt with it was I just tried to disconnect from it all, which is why my dissociation got so bad in that year that I was in hospital was because I just dis I, I dissociated from what was going on. It's very hard when you're impatient, especially if you're on a section, because you don't have any right, you don't have leave automatically, and the truth is, is there's not a lot you can really do about the abuse that does go on. I made one complaint to Pals while I was inpatient for a year and it got nowhere. It just got dropped. Because I was a section patient who was out of control. I don't know where the out of control bit came from, but I, I mean I wasn't well, don't get me wrong. I that year that I was in hospital I was struggling and over medicated. They literally over medicated me to a point where I just couldn't function. I was in bed all the time because I, I, standing up was painful. It's painful now. I have arthritis, so standing up is painful. But they over medicated me, and that only got corrected once I left hospital. And I saw my first psychiatrist since getting out. And in that he lowered my clonazepam dose, that back down to 0 0.5 because I was on 1 milligram in the morning, 1 milligram at lunch, 1 milligram in the evening and then 2 milligrams at night. So I was on a, a high dose of clonazepam and it really, really, really fucked with me. But handling abuse and other negligent things it you don't handle it you just deal with it and then you deal with the trauma after are psych wards scary well they're not scary they're just filled with mentally ill people whether they're suicidal self-harming manic psychotic anorexic bulimic ednos or osfed as it's now known You'd put into a situation with people that lack capacity, so to them what they're doing makes sense, but in reality it doesn't make sense. But I wouldn't say psych wars are scary, you are just surrounded by negligence, abuse, and you have a complete lack of privacy. But they're not, they're not scary. Were you formal slash informal and do you have any regrets about any of your admissions? So I've been in hospital both informally and on a section. And honestly, I was treated better when I was on a section. If when you go in informally, you're saying, yes, I need help. But they don't offer help, they just stabilise you. That's the one thing about psych wards in the UK, they don't offer you help, they just stabilise you. They don't offer therapy, they don't offer activities. It's just, you're just left to, to your own devices really. And do I have any regrets about my admissions? Not really. Not really. 
Next question is, what was the worst thing you saw in a psych ward? Oh my god, the worst thing I saw... would be watching someone get restrained and injected. And then sent to PICU. PICU is Psychiatric Intensive Care Unit. Is there anything psych ward staff did that was helpful and could do more to help you? So in my year long admission, there was a staff member called Megan and there was another one called Craig and they played games of chess with me. To anyone who doesn't know, I used to compete in chess when I was in school and I, I got quite good at it. But just that little bit of interaction and normalising stuff really helped me. It was really nice of them to spend time with me like that. And when I was on one to one, both them staff members were really nice. And they helped me wash my hair, dye my hair, do my makeup, and just try and get some normality back in my life. Because like I said, I was heavily sedated. I was over medicated and I didn't really function very well. So I stayed in bed, but they, they got me doing stuff that got me out of bed and doing stuff. They even took me on walks outside when I had leave to find the bunny rabbit. There was bunnies. We was, we was going to Kaiser Bunny in Megan's hood and bring it into the water, but they, the, but. <laughs> We weren't really going to do that, but that was a little joke we had. But yeah, just stuff like that really helped. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you want to take part in future q and like I said at the beginning, check out my Instagram. Uh, that's where I post and ask for questions. Thank you for watching this video, and if you are new, subscribe! Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next upload. Peace.